soul. You think that you are useless. Think you've got nothing. News flash, punk. Until you start hating the world. Till you start having what is necessary in you. To drive yourself forwards. You don't have anything. And just because you think that you've won, just because you think that you're hard, hardened by life, well, I've got another news flash for you. You're not hard. You haven't seen. You don't know. But I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm going to tell you what pushes me forwards. Because what pushes me forwards is everything that holds you down. You think this world owes you a goddamn thing? You're out of your mind. Nothing in this world. Nothing is holding you back except for you. Ask yourself. Why would anybody care what you have to say? What you think? What you feel? They all have their own issues. They all have their own problems. <sighs> See? I don't care. And that is what makes me dangerous. That's what makes me scary. Because I don't care. I don't care what people have to say that holds me back. And I don't care what people have to say about what drives me forwards. Because to me, <laughs> to me, it's all just words. Words don't do a damn thing except convey an ideal. If you want to actually own the world, if you want to own yourself, stop believing in words. Start believing in action. Because everybody that you've ever known, everybody that you've ever talked to, ever had as a friend or as an enemy, They really don't care. They don't give a shit. They never have. Why should they care about you? You're not their significant other. You don't live with them. You don't sleep in their bed at night. You're not making their food. You're not paying their bills. No, you are a burden. And the only thing that is worse than a burden is being a depressant. Someone who takes and takes and takes and never gives back. If you want to succeed in this world, hmm, well, you need to stop taking. Because taking does no good for you. 
no. Taking only makes you the recipient of all that they think of as being wrong. Instead, push yourself. Take for yourself. Because nobody is going to take for you. No, they don't care. You have to want it. You have to breathe it. Have it be part of your soul. Because the last time I checked, the only person who has your back is you. Remember that little story, the one in the Bible, where Cain killed Abel because Cain thought that Abel was always the better of the two. And so God cursed him to walk the world that everything he touched would turn to ash. Everything he grew would die. Nobody would help him. But everybody who attacked him would die painfully. You see, God didn't curse Cain, no. God blessed Cain. Because Cain was fearless. He knew you cannot be your brother's keeper. Because if you do, you detract from your brother's ability to take for himself. Yeah, sure, be supportive. That's nice. That's awesome. And it does good for your feelings. But at the end of the day, The only one who suffers because of it is you. Because you chose to be your brother's keeper. So when your brother ends up sad, demoralized, downtrodden, just remember it was you who enabled that. You want your brother to be strong? kick his ass. Then tell him to get his ass off the fucking ground and quit groveling in the mud. You want to have what you need in life? Then stop wallowing in your own fucking personal crawl. Get up and do something about it, you little pussy. The only thing in this world that's any kind going to make you better is pain and hatred. It's the only thing that makes you rise above. Because we all know that you don't want to watch the world burn. No, the world wants to watch you burn. So stop dousing yourself in gasoline and get up off your fucking ass. Go do something righteous with yourself. Then you can turn around and watch them burn. Because you're standing at a distance 
and you've made it all work out for you. And they're still sitting in their own self-pity, in their own self-loathing. And your hatred is what made you strong. Go ahead. Be like me. Find your hatred. Let it make you strong. Because the coup tells you that only by that dark spirit that you hold inside of your soul, that hatred deep down that drives you forwards, do you become strong enough be able to turn around and one day have the love in your heart to spit in the eye of the poor son of a bitch who won't stop fucking self-wallowing so he gets up and finally starts fighting for himself <laughs>